So one breaks, it just Brent replaces on the other. But if you're really generous and you, you know, get your other friends to be printers, you just call Joe Pop down the street and say, dude, I broke this piece. Print me off with that. Too much deal. I think that's a fail. Yeah. But one thing that's interesting is the tool that we use, the, there's the design on the outside, but you were doing your solid work, the heat scan, or you want to do the design tool. Well, we have a program that is what turns that three-dimensional design into two-dimensional paths for that novel to run. It's called Skinboard. And then Skinboard, so that's actually one of the interesting things about it, is because you can have a perfectly good design that you screw up in Skinboard. Because you need something physically solid, but you get cheap and want to turn back. So I trust their attention to the cost. That's a lot of knowledge. Well, okay, I'll have to be honest. Steam Forge is the bane of people in our office. The good thing is you can always beat it and go back and start with it. But what they'll offer is once you learn how to do those buttons, and again, it's like it's accelerated. Because what you can do is, this is a very poorly calibrated thing. Because you notice the little um, strings right here. And the strings right there, and um, the lines are not supposed to matter. The ridging comes from the fact that my.